Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen how the method of substitution is very handy in dealing with the complex piece of problem. Here in this learning video, we are going to take a problem on integration by parts. So let us see first of all what is integration by parts. So integration by parts is for the product of two functions. Okay. Suppose you have two functions, say if you have two functions u and v, then it's integration, both are functions of x, then its integration is given by first function integration of second minus integration of derivative of first into integration of second into dx. So this is the integration by parts okay this is the first one and the second one which is very very helpful is integration integration of x to the power n into sorry let me write u into v dx n so this is the handy formula that we have the second one which says you can write u integration of v minus let me use different pain so that you can get it easily u integration of v dx minus derivative of first double integration of second plus second derivative of first triple integration of next plus and so on plus nth order derivative of u and so on just uh, you just remember up to this only because uh, we will be having problem like three up to three or four times okay not more than that because it takes much of the pro much of the time okay so now let us take an example for example, you have a problem, say, integration of x square into sin x dx. Suppose this is the problem we have. And now if you go, go with this uh, first problem, with the first result of integration by parts, you need to apply integration by parts twice. But if you go with this, uh, if you go with this formula, you can write down the integration of this in just a single line. So that is the advantage we have of uh, this formula or this formula, okay? But, this part is very important, but this formula is applicable only when at least one function is algebraic. At least one function is algebraic. Okay, so this formula is applicable when you have an algebraic function and any function. So here we have x square into sin x. Okay, so let us try to write its integration in just a single line. So first function according to, yes, before I solve this problem, let me tell you one uh, rule, which is uh, eyelet rule, some people call it, light rule. Okay, so that is uh, L, I, A, T, E. So light rule is very important as far as the integration by parts is concerned. This L stands for logarithmic. This I stands for inverse functions. This A stands for algebraic function. This T stands for trigonometric functions and this E easiest one is exponential exponential function so whenever you have a function try to arrange in this order first function should be like uh, uh, logarithmic then comes the inverse and then comes the algebraic trigonometric and exponential okay so this is important now as you can see here it is log uh, here it is uh, x square into sin x. So, this is algebraic, then trigonometric, algebraic, trigonometric. So, it is already is in order. So, you can apply the integration by parts. Okay. So, 
so this is same as just apply the second formula so this is first function integration of sin x what is integration of sin x minus cos x minus derivative of first what is derivative of first x square derivative is 2x now double integration of v we already have one integration now take another integration of this we will be getting double integration so minus integration of cos x is sin x ok plus double derivative of x square that's 2 that is one derivative of this 2 and again integration of sin x is minus cos x so this become plus simple so what is it minus x square cos x plus 2x sin x plus 2 cos x so you see uh, in a very uh, less than uh, a minute we can find out uh, integration of such thing but if you go now i want you to try at home go with this formula and try to solve this problem with the first formula you need uh, more time to get the answer okay and if you have a lengthy problem there are more chances of committing a mistake okay so that is the first problem now let us take another problem uh, say example number 2 so I will be taking example number 2 as integration from 1 to 2 log of x dx now you may be wondering there is only single function why don't we have a product of two functions but as you know we don't have we don't have integration of log x you just need to multiply it by 1 and then apply the light rule logarithmic and then algebraic okay so you can apply and then you can use make use of formula number 1 to get what is it second also you can apply one is algebraic x to the power 0 a constant okay so what is it but I want you to apply this formula so what is first function log x what is integration of 1 is x limit 1 to 2 minus what is derivative of first derivative of first function log x derivative is 1 by x again integration of derivative of first that is x dx limit 1 to 2 so this x x get cancelled ok so we remain with in place of uh, x you can put 2 so this is log 2 into 2 minus log 1 into 1 minus what is integration of 1 x limits from 1 to 2 so this is like log 1 is 0 so this is log 2 into 2 log 2 in this is not log 2.2 this is log of 2 into 2 minus here apply the limits 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is 1 simple ok now let us take one more problem to make the idea more more clear so I will rub this one so the next problem that we can take is of uh, integration from 0 to infinity example number 3 integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax into sine bx dx okay now this may looks like uh, integration by parts it is actually integration by parts but i want you to remember the formula for this special case so this comes under special case so how you can remember this formula this is like 1 upon what is coefficient of x minus a so minus a square a square plus coefficient of another x that is b square into e to the power minus ax as it is then in bracket we have minus a then the function sine bx minus 
वॉट इज डेरीवेटिव ऑफ साइन बी एक्स डेरीवेटिव ऑफ साइन बी एक्स इज कॉस बी एक्स इन टू बी सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस ओके एंड देन यू कैन अप्लाई लिमिट जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ओके लाइक वाइज लाइक वाइज यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ई टू द पावर माइनस एक्स इन टू कॉस बी एक्स डी एक्स so what is it can you apply the formula by just looking at this so i want you to just pause the video for a few seconds with the help of this formula try to write down formula for this and then resume the video so i hope you might have written it uh, correctly so let us cross check so this is 1 upon coefficient of a square coefficient of x Square a square plus b square e to the power minus a x then minus a cos b x minus what is derivative of cos b x minus sine so this become plus sine b x into b okay so we have this now we can solve this problem so let us solve this problem so we have this say example number three. Integration zero to infinity e to the power minus a x into sine b x d x, or take two two x and take here as three x. Let us make it more interesting. So according to the formula, it is one upon a square plus b square. So one upon a square two square is four three square is nine e to the power minus two x into minus two. Sine three x minus three cos three x. Now apply the limits zero to infinity. So this is one by thirteen e to the power minus infinity into anything would be zero. So e to the power minus infinity into anything is zero minus e to the power zero in bracket minus two sine zero minus three cos zero. Okay, so this is one by thirteen. What is it? What is it? E to the power zero is uh, one. Sine zero is zero. Cos zero is one. So minus three, and this minus become plus three by thirteen. Okay, so in this way you can solve problems with the help of integration by parts. Now let me give you one. Two problems that you can try at home. So the problem that you have to solve at home is this. Try this. Integration zero to sorry not zero one two two log x upon x square dx. Okay. Also, the second problem: integration from zero to infinity e to the power minus x into cos four x. Sorry, let me take it. Y change of variable dy. So these are the two problems that you can try at home and try to get the answers. Okay. So I hope this is making sense. Thank you for joining and. Uh, joining this course and enjoy learning mathematics thank you